That's a stereophonics. The yeah. stereophonics, they're on the show later on this morning. I guess they'll be on in the second hour of the show. And they're playing live, yeah. They're playing live. We have with us Bill Bailey. That hawking sound you just heard was Bill Bailey, one of the country's foremost comedians. <laughs> Bill, thank you for coming in. Hello. Morning. Nice to see you. Yes, very nice to see you. How are you? How's uh, life? I'm very well, actually, yes. Um, uh, I'm uh, slightly frazzled, as, uh, as you may know, from the, from the, um, well, the full-on nature of, uh, of parenting a small child. But uh, other than that, pretty I, chirpy. You got a baby now? Yeah, seven weeks. I, I forgot you had a baby. Yeah, I forgot. I was just about to ask you how the parrots were. <laughs> but now, other than oh you no, have yeah, parrots, we well, have yeah. a we have a human element to the yeah, menagerie. You've, now. you've added an, another animal. to We now take humans. So seven weeks old. How yeah. lovely. A boy or girl? Boy. Uh, and what's his name? Dax. I thought for a second you might not not named after a sort of like a, a symbiont. Fiction. Yeah, <laughs> Dax. That yeah. is a science fiction. Though. He absor- yes, he absorbs memories That's of uh, former hosts. <laughs> Dax. Does he have a middle name? William. Dax William. Yeah. Okay. Well, middle, it's a shame that middle He's got a choice. Yeah. Dax Muggy 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 in the park. Yeah. He's got the, well, that's his Klingon name, of course. <laughs> yeah. His Klingon pet. His kennel name. How lovely is he? Uh, is he one of these new super babies that we've been seeing so much of? These gigantic babies? Because Elizabeth Hurley's is, was came out taller than hers. I know. I've been reading about that. A lot and, of and Jordan's of baby's about enormous stone babies. Now, I, I don't know, know what's what that is. Maybe they're just. I don't know, some kind of antibiotic sort of, you know, d- 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 bulk up. There's but baby uh, in America. he was bang on average, which what? I which, well, I which like. is about what eight seven pounds, pounds seven pounds four ounces, yeah, well, which is the national average. That's a nice size for it's a you, nice size, and no doubt a nice size for your partner. It's good for him. <laughs> <laughs> My first baby was nine nine pounds twelve. Oh, that's, that's a big one, isn't it? That's a, he's big. That's oh, that's pushing oh, it. That's not bad. Mm. Andy, when he was born. <laughs> Three and a half stone, yeah. and most of that was head. Really? Yeah. And talking. Instantly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He had teeth, he had hair, he had a stubble. He could play he his xylophone. It was last he came week. straight out, the nurse said, I'm just going to shave him before I put him on the breast. Wait a minute. I'll put him in this, I'll put him in this hutch. So that, that's what a lovely thing, though. Yeah, it is a lovely thing. So seven weeks, born just before Christmas. So December the 1st, yeah. All right, OK, that's a nice time of year, so you yeah. don't want to be too near Christmas if you can help. Well, I think before Christmas is good, because then you get, you know, then there's a sort of a, a birthday before Christmas. Yeah. And after Christmas, it's like, ah, we've had, Everything's fine, we've all that. You've got loads to play with. Yeah. You've got Easter and Valentine's to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, you going to have any more? I mean, no, it's quite I soon. don't know. Uh, um, <laughs> it's a bit soon to think about that, yeah. <laughs> um, after, so we, we, we thought we were going to get... I mean, this is the thing. We were going to get another dog and a lizard, <laughs> but, uh, oh, you know, we've had a, had a charm. There's so, always so. room for your life in a lizard. Yeah, now, will you go with uh, one of the kind of insect-eating lizards or are you thinking of a fruit-eating iguana? We were thinking like maybe... Well, we had, a, there was, we had an offer of, um, of a rehoming um, uh, a sort of an orphan iguana yeah. uh, called Iggy, but um, I don't know, he was a bit... He was, he was, he was. What, what can we call it? Damaged goods. You know what I mean. He was a little bit needy, bit neurotic. Yeah. yeah. And he, and the thing is, this is what never to say to someone when they're just about to rehouse a pet. He's lovely. He has got a tendency to lash out. Yeah, yeah. You don't. And you that. know that the whole lashing out thing. I just, yeah. especially not when they've got like a four foot tail. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. lashing out in our terms is like yeah. you know just a bit grumpy. A mouse thing. lashing out. Yeah. You're not going to notice. <laughs> um, so you you passed on the lizard. Yeah, we did. Yeah. It, we have an iguana. Do you? Yeah, it's quite a nice one. When, uh, what kind? He's a greeny brown one. <laughs> <laughs> You're not an aficionado of the I'm not, uh, reptile. I'm then. not big on the reptile world. <laughs> well, you, know, as you don't even know you've got one. Yeah, something. I, I, I see glimpses of it now and again. I, I take food down occasionally. <laughs> he seems quite happy. I think he's working on a novel. You know, you're not taking that responsibility. It's seriously. not my responsibility. It's not my pet. I don't even know what it is. I have a robotic you don't even dog. You not know the species, the genus of it. Is Jane's iguana. Well, there you go then. That's she, the truth she, of it. She could, she could talk to you too until the cows came home. <laughs> and in fact, they do sometimes. <laughs> yeah. um, and so you've got a, a baby uh, and two. Two parrots. Two parrots. Okay. Parrots yeah. or parakeets? No, no, they're cockatoos. Cockatoos. Uh, a oh, insert joke. There. No one uh, said no. a cockatoo joke. Of course, the, the door was open, but it remained firmly shut. Yeah, let's leave it. Um, the uh, no, cockatoos. They, they are. Oh, of course, all parrots are parrots. All co- no, the cockatoos are parrots, but um, cockatoos are very different in terms of the uh, style of parrot. <laughs> you see, I'm going to get this parrot stuff in. <laughs> no, because no, I, I just realized... like listen. When I came on the TV show, you yeah. stitched me up like a kipper. Oh, Bill Bailey, how dare you? You stitched me up like. A kipper. What Let's happened? have a look at that parrot in your wallet. Yeah, look at that idiot. <laughs> so I did ask Bill to bring. I said, bring a picture of your parrot. Bring along. a picture of your parrot and I in said, your Let's wallet. Let's have a look at your parrot. I went, how sad is it? How sad is that? I was looking at him like, how could you? How could you, Ross? <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> I don't know. I thought maybe the maybe the, maybe the cynicism would be no. would be crushed. I thought it was by the moment. beautiful butterfly of hope. Nice but a nice parrot. Well. It was a nice parrot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you take your parrots out on leads? 
Yeah, sometimes. Because yeah. parrots like being led, don't they? They like going for a little walk. They do, yeah, because they, they, they're, they're naturally in the jungle. They're, for, you know, they're foragers. They like to forage about. So yeah. they like to forage. They like to walk around and have they a look. They like to walk around and yeah, have exactly. a look. Exactly. Yeah, they've got, you know, they sort of scramble about. I would love it. Wouldn't you love it if uh, there was a parrot colony living wild in London? There, well, there is, obviously. Is there? Yeah. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. Don't be silly. There is. No, the parakeets are now listed as indigenous birds. No way, Jose. Yes, they are. You, you are. see what a beautiful you're story you could have had if you you're persevered with <laughs> you the parrot. You pulling my plunger. I'm not. I'm absolutely <laughs> serious. You... Parakeets. Where, where are they? They're, there's a large colony in Richmond Park. But they're not sort of grey like pigeons now, are they? No, they're, like... they're green and red. In Ren- oh, parakeets. Yeah, and uh, today, obviously. But... You can tell them by their flitting flight patterns. Wouldn't that be great? Well, if, it, if they spread all over. Well, they could. They're very hardy. I'd love that. It'd be so <laughs> lovely. A bit of colour out there. A bit of colour. Let's Maybe let... pandas. What if we... pandas oh, escape. wouldn't that be, be great? Lovely, wouldn't it? There's Wild. no reason why not. Rummaging around your bins. <laughs> See, you've already made it a bit negative. <laughs> You know, if we made the panda a sacred animal like the cow... The koi pew escaped, didn't it, in in in, uh, in East Anglia? I beg your pardon? The koi pew. What's a koi pew? A large rodent-like thing, the size no of a wombat. Wants, no one wants that. Yes, well, no, I know, but they're, they're, they're harmless, vegetarians. I don't want a koi pew. They, lived, uh, they live quite happily in the in the fens. I'm sure they do, and I'm happy for them. Yeah, well, leave them, leave them to it. Let's go back to cute animals. <laughs> you know what I would love? What was that? Penguins. Yep. Can you imagine some penguins just walking down the road occasionally? Never mind squirrels crossing the road by you. Penguins <laughs> just going out. Oh, They're wouldn't charming be... little faces. We could do this, couldn't we? Oh, it'd be great, wouldn't it? There's no reason why not, I can think of. Um, well, just the environment, though. It's not, I don't think it's not quite right for them. Yeah, but it's nippy at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for about four days of the year, they thrive. The, the rest <laughs> then they'd be forced underground. The rest of the time they could go and live in, like, Queensway ice skating rink. That's true, yes. Then, uh, well, or, you see, that someone like they have in Montreal, where they have actually have a biodome full of penguins. No, do they? For year, all year round. You are just like, you're the most knowledgeable man in the world. <laughs> of course I am. You're like, because when you were talking about parrots, the reason why I smiled earlier on yeah. is I looked at you and I thought, it's like having an open university lecture in here. <laughs> I almost expected what? you to you start... You mean I'm in black and white? Start drawing on the chalkboard. Well, your dress sense goes back there. Start drawing on the board back there. Will you see the indigenous parakeet? <laughs> yes, the indigenous parakeet over here. Well, if we will be... Uh, Killing, I, I sense a whole new show going on here. What do you mean? Ask Bill Bailey. That's what we call it. Ask Bill Bailey. Bailey. People phone in, ask you a question about some obscure you know that, life form. Listen, you know that business about the monkeys you're talking about, the yes. fact that monkeys, you know, you leave them alone with typewriters? Yeah. Um, secret, the secret uh, the sort of SP the, kind of, on the QT. Everyone knows this but me, yeah. Th- yeah, um, was that they actually did write uh, several dozen novels and they were very, very good. Wow. And they released them. I believe they Under also... the name of Tom Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're responsible for that new BBC sitcom Mad About Alice as well, aren't they? <laughs> That's right, yeah. But that was I one, of the, that was one of the emotionally that. damaged monkeys. That, uh, <laughs> that's right, yeah. Just tight with one finger. Yeah, it would have been fine. Unfortunately, they gave him spell check, and that's why it got through the BBC's otherwise very strict vetting procedure. Uh, do we have time for a record? Yeah, if we do it now. Uh, what should we put on? Uh, a bit of David Bowie. Are you a David Bowie fan, Bill? Of course. Of course you are. A bit of yeah, Cooks. He's a hero. That's lovely. bit twee, but lovely. Uh, 88 to 91 FM. This is Radio 2 from the BBC. Bowie. White. We were just saying how much we miss him, weren't we? Yeah. I mean, not that we knew him particularly, but, um, you know. No, but you feel you sort of... You well, he know. touched our lives. He did. He touched our lives in, in a very ways. fundamental way. Yeah. Uh, Bill Bailey uh, is going to be presenting next week yes. uh, the Empire Film Awards. Yep. And it's going to be broadcast live on Sky Movies. Yes. Uh, one at 8pm this coming Wednesday. So it's Wednesday you do it. That's it. Well, it's not being broadcast live, is it? I think it was, it's going on during the afternoon, isn't it? Um, I think, no, I think it is. I think it's what they're doing. They're doing the broadcast it live and then show sort of highlights of it. Oh, I see. Throughout the night. Oh, I see. So they're doing it yeah. live when it happens, and then yeah. that evening they're going to show the highlights. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've got the wrong information here. Yeah. Um, you've not done this before. This is the first year for you. I've no. Um, I mean, I've presented a lot of awards ceremonies, yeah. which are you know over the, over the years, um, which is, which I always enjoy doing. And uh, so this this came along. I thought, ah, oh, something a bit different. Never and you're a film fan, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's a it's a great opportunity to meet some. Uh, Meet some top terms. Well, you always get good people turn up for this. As I've seen, I, yeah. I went once years ago. Yeah. Um, I had to give out an honorary thing to William Friedkin. Oh, right. And um, I realised I didn't really like that many of his movies, stupidly, while I was standing on stage with him. <laughs> I mentioned two I liked, and I thought, oh, actually, yeah, and I think I said something that upset him. It all, it all, so I've kind of not gone back since. <laughs> right, oh, I see. Your, it's your candid uh, nature uh, was uh, undoing. You know, you tell me, I've made so many mistakes like that over the years. Um, and I'm sure there'll, be, there'll, be, room, there'll no. be room for many moments like that on Wednesday. Well, the thing is, that's it. I mean, I, you know, because I, 
so I was quite so I was quite curious why they you know they think well oh, get a comic to do it you know you know you know what comics are like you know <laughs> you know what they're, their propensity to mock uh, they can't help themselves yeah so I don't know whether you know there was a slight nervousness around the uh, around the offices of Empire but thinking, you know well Empire's a good magazine it's a yeah. very good magazine and it's funny as well you know they yeah. they often approach things from a from a humorous perspective sure. so. and I think yeah and then the idea is that it's 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 a sort of a, it's an antidote to sort of stuffy award ceremonies it's not going to be something where there's a very long this huge long thing with a band and great big long speeches. No. It's quite a sort of punchy. It, it runs about four minutes, I believe. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just chuck all the awards Here's out. Here's some again. awards, help yourselves. <laughs> right, bundle! OK, let's have a look. Um, OK, let's go through some of these. I want to ask your opinion. Go on. We'll ask Andy who these. Best newcomer. These are the people who are going to be at the Empire Film Awards best newcomer. You've got Marty McCutcheon. Yes. For her part in Love, actually. Yep. Mackenzie Crook, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. Fenella Woolgar, Bright Young Things. Yeah. Andrew Lincoln, Love, actually. And Eli Roth, Cabin Fever. Right. Who's your money on, Bill? Well, I don't know. I think it's probably um, it's probably a th- it could be a three way uh, three way fight between uh, Martin, um, Mackenzie, mm. and uh, and your man uh, Lincoln, Andrew Lincoln. Yeah. From Love actually, he's also in my family, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Andy? You got an opinion on that? Well, funny enough, I, the last week I saw Pirates of the Caribbean, and I would go Mackenzie. Crook. I would go Mackenzie Cook as well because yeah. I think. Um, for such a small role, he stole it. Yeah. He did, didn't he? Yeah, he was very good. And um, and I think you know, it's it, it was it's such a big sprawling movie as well to actually kind of stand out in amongst all that. Yeah. Who's um, who's voting for this, by the way? Who, who actually I, decides? I think it's the readers of Empire. All right. So they've written in or they've yeah. texted or emailed. And all they've, that sort of yeah, flagged it up somehow. Well, here's a weird uh, category though, which I don't think I've seen at an award show yeah. before. And I know sometimes some of the award shows, the more relaxed, the younger spirited ones, like the MTV Awards. Yeah. They would have things like Best Movie Kiss and stuff like that. So sure. this is, I guess, in keeping. There's the Sony Ericsson scene of the year. Would that be a sponsored award, that one? This, uh, no, that's oh, okay. just scenes that uh, employ <laughs> Sony Ericsson phones. <laughs> People who own Sony Ericsson phones so obviously, particularly like. Yeah, that's right. Here in the uh, in the, so, in Gandalf is can seen yeah, texting. <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, but, but there's some great scenes. This is hard one to choose between. This is the toughie, because you've got the ride of Rohirrim. Rohirrim, is that right? Rohirrim. Rohirrim, Return of the King. Now, I imagine, looking at your yeah. hairstyle, that that's a big favourite of yours. Of course. Well, I mean, as uh, as has been pointed out, it's just like a documentary for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bailey family at home. It is. It's a home video. <laughs> is, uh, did you put, which of the three uh, Lord of the Ki- Rings movies did you like best? Lord of the Kings. Um, well, see, it's it's, a, it's an interesting thing because uh, they they I think they they um, they all have some in, you know incredible you know mer- memorable um, sort of scene to them or. Or you know, there's something which is realised from the book, which is particularly. I don't know. I, I kind of. I, I like them all equally, actually. Yeah, well, which one of the three? The, sec- the, the, the second one. The second. You can't yeah. like the second one's the dull one. <laughs> the second one, the two towers. The second one. Saruman. It's, it's boring. Saruman. 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 Christopher right. Knee. Yeah, you see him break. Saruman the White. Yeah, that's good. He's evil. He's a wizard. He was good. Now he's gone bad. When got wizards a, go bad. Got a tower. Makes the orcs. That's all good fun. Yeah, it's okay. fantastic. Long, the Uruk-hai. Long battle at the end. That's yep. great. Fantastic. Third movie's the one. Come on. Well, all right. Third movie. Yes, no, the, the... Third movie. You got dead people fighting. That's always great. <laughs> Third <laughs> movie. I got. I, ju- I nodded off. I thought I was in Pirates what of the, the Caribbean. Hell? It's got the Nazgul in it. <laughs> the Witch King. The Nazgul. Why did the Witch King run on the back of a Nazgul? I know. And What's the, that Jimi Hendrix track? And the Winged Serpents. And Minas Tirith is fantastically realised. There you go. Book the film three. Come on. Yeah, well, it's, it's a tad long. Never mind. What? <laughs> Three hours, 25 minutes. What's wrong with you, Bailey? Well, you get on the wrong side of bed this morning. No, What's yeah. wrong with you? It's the last film. Andy, which one do you like best? I haven't seen the last one. What the? What? <laughs> Am I surrounded by idiots? All right. No, I'll tell you what. That's no, a rhetorical I, it, question. It, it, <laughs> I, it did. I thought... Uh, no, they're all, they're all... I think they're all fantastic. But the last uh, the last one, I did think... There was a, there was a number of endings. It just seemed to be t- so many different endings. Yes, it has seven endings. It had, uh, 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 has it finished? Oh, no, it hasn't quite finished. Oh, it hasn't well, finished. Oh, well, quite finished. You can give them that because you want to find out everyone lives happily ever after or otherwise. Yeah, you're not even sure that they do. Are you siding with those fans of the books who feel that they're uh, omitting the battle for Hobbiton? Was an unfortunate hour. The, the fact that yes, when in, in when they the return books end with one final re- battle, they go back. Don't they, they return to the Shire, and Saruman has laid waste to so the Shire. I, I haven't read the books. Ah, uh, well, there you see. No. Uh, well, I don't want to read the books. I've got the films. No, the, the Saruman. Oh, sorry, that's me. Your Sony Ericsson. <laughs> fun. Is that? A, I bet you've got. Is it a Sony phone? <laughs> no, of course it isn't. Uh, it will be after Wednesday. I bet. No, it's, uh, it's one of these. He'll have a, a box of freebies when he goes out. <laughs> <laughs> we know what we're getting from Bill for Christmas this year. <laughs> it's a Gandalf theme phone.
Yeah, it's an Elrond. It's Is there someone from home phoning you saying it's the third it's film? The third Bill. film. <laughs> Stop phoning <laughs> with you. Talking about <laughs> so you were saying about Hobbiton? You yeah, no, no, the D lays waste. And so there, there is a kind of a. It's it's not quite the sort of you know the the happy ending that you know is is portrayed in the third mm. film. So I think yes, maybe purists will feel that it's it's, it's a slightly kind of blanded out ending. But I mean the the, the, the battle scenes are just so magnificent. Oh, it's it. it like nothing anyone's ever seen. I suppose I haven't seen it with my little boy yet. I might go mm. and see it soon. Do you fancy going and see it again? Oh, of course I would. That'd of course, of course I would. You can't bring the pouts. Can I say, and this bit is brilliant. No, you see, that's <laughs> terrible. It's a great bit coming up. Oops, watch Ooh, out. Look out. Uh, don't be surprised if he sees a spider in uh, there. Keep your eye keep your eye on the big-eyed fella in the background. Well, you've heard about me going to see it with my uh, my agent with him. Yes. Familiar. Yeah, it was not a, it's not a pleasant experience. <laughs> it was well, the, hello. Just before the final battle, you go, it's all gonna, I think it's, it's all, all going to kick off. It's all going to kick off. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard walks in the room, yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I just can't ma- I imagine Addison in that world of fantasy. He, well, fa- he didn't know, did fantasy he? Fantasy league. He going out to... Go, oh, I'm going to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. He's just like he's that. Blowing, I don't like those well, flying no, I mean... blizzards in New Zealand. <laughs> Pick you up and eat you. <laughs> he's thinking Gandalf, though. He's probably put... Gandalf, put him on tour, build him up slowly. <laughs> sure. Support Joe Brown a couple of weeks, see how he goes yeah, down. He's lovely. Oh, I don't understand it myself. I get the feeling we're now doing the most self-indulgent <laughs> radio ever. <laughs> Uh, just to let you know, if you do go to New Zealand, the Nazgul are all safely harnessed, aren't they? They <laughs> yeah. let them out for tourists, right? Yeah. Uh, let's have some more music, and we'll chat to Bill some more after this. What's this? It's a new single from Keen. Oh, good. We were playing this a while ago, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, we were. Very nice. Yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Keen. The way your voice came in there, you'd be a good DJ. Do you think so? Yeah, I think Hi, you it's Bill Bailey, Radio 2. You, you know what you could do? You could take over, not not, not that he's going anywhere, What's a long way, Steve Wright's Sunday Love Songs. Oh, really? You've got the perfect voice for that. Yeah. There's a new really? there's a new CD by the way of Steve White's uh, love songs out called Chocolate and Champagne. Or something yeah, like that. yeah, Ugh. yeah. I <laughs> know. <No>, it's... <laughs> it makes you feel slightly sick. Yeah, <laughs> it is a bit creepy. Yeah. You think? Yeah. And there's a picture of Steve on the back, yeah. looking a bit shiny. Yeah. You think, all right. <laughs> Steve you know, Wright, chocolate and champagne. Yeah. Why don't they just call it, you know, love tape for the middle age? That's essentially what it is. <laughs> it's <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> champagne, and shattered dreams. Background music for Viagra users. <laughs> I'll put this on. There's a bit of Kylie on here. You'll love it. Put this on in the Volvo. <laughs> I uh, I had one, but there's some nice tracks on it. It's it's got it's a good selection. It's yeah. a good selection of stuff. I forgot to bring mine in today. Yeah, yeah. It's a good selection of music on it, mm. but it's the sort of thing I was listening to one day and I remember thinking I was driving and someone cut me up a bit. I thought, oh, I better change this tape because if I did die horribly in the car, yeah, I wouldn't that. want people to know that I was listening to Steve. I can't live, <laughs> live in the <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd be lying there and you wouldn't be able to reach it, but it would still be playing and it would get to a track by Smokey or something. You'd go, oh, I don't want to listen to living next door to Alice. <laughs> it would be that would be reported. Um, Bill's squeaky yeah. noise is making is his leather jacket. That's oh, sorry. a cheap leather jacket you're wearing. Cheap. Well, I'll tell oh, you, because it's making that cheap leather jacket noise. Listen, this is a vintage 70s listen leather to jacket. Listen the noise it's making. It's what? cheap. This, it's not me that's making it. Your phone's, the phone's going. Someone's saying, yes, it is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, seven no, week year old son is texting him yeah. already you know saying, it's, it's a, a cheap jacket, Dad. It's a bloody, it's the cheer, it's the seat that's creaking. It's oh, not our it seat, it is your cheap leather garment. Listen, hang on. Right, not a well, noise. It's not, it's not, there they go, see? Right, now move your arm up. <laughs> Well, listen to that. You need oiling. That's, that's a, the Tin Man. That's an expensive creak. <laughs> that is cheap. a cheap BBC chair creak. You know when you're young and you're very self-conscious. Did you go for that phase? No, good man. All right, well, I was, and I went to see uh, I went to see Cymbeline yeah. starring Judy Dench. Oh, well done. Uh, as part of a school trip, I hastened to add. It wasn't yeah. through choice. Saved up. And I was pocket uh, money. And I was very nervous, yeah. child. And I had a cheap leather jacket I bought from a jumble sale. Yeah. But I was very proud of it. Yeah. And I sat there, and I was near some girls from another school. And I thought, hello, girls. <laughs> hello. Hello. It's all going to kick off. So kick but off. then I moved my arm and went, oh, 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 creaking. And I moved on, and I began to get very self conscious. So I tried to sit as still as possible. Yeah. And I was sitting so still, I started sweating profusely. <laughs> and by the end of it, they looked round, and I was sitting frozen with a smile on my face, trying to impress them, dripping sweat. Well, see, that's not a good look. It's no wonder I never lost my virginity to my early 20s. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Till you moved on to fabrics. <laughs> you will have lost your virginity. Now you have a son, of course. Yes, of course. Um, what a brilliant link. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm the master. Oh, that's, that's magnificent. Wogan sits at home writing these down so he can steal them. <laughs> um, what a link. Do you, do, uh, the, the whole thing of fatherhood. Yes. Is, has it really... You've come to terms with it now? Uh, I don't know. I don't know that I have. 
Um, it's something which is, you, you kind of have to, it's, it's so all-encompassing, you don't really have time to sort of stand back from it, I think, until you're, until you're about 20 years in. Did you take him out and show him the snow? <laughs> I did, actually, yeah. And did yeah. he enjoy it? He did, he sort of looked at it, and, uh, and then sometimes, you know, you kind of think, oh, I've made a fantastic connection, he's looking in my eyes, yeah. this is so amazing, oh, the circle of life! Yeah. And then other times <laughs> you just look at you like, Who, what are you, <laughs> what is this, what's going on? It's like having an elderly Stop. person with Alzheimer's in the yeah. house, isn't it? There are times yeah. when you think, OK, you know that's a fridge, and other times they go to it like it's the monolith in 2001. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing not to be confused with because they will look at you in a way and you think yes. they're looking at me as if I am the centre of the universe. Yeah, and then you will catch them looking at the dog in the same way. <laughs> yeah, that's it. They're making those connections. Yes. Did you take him sledging? No, God, no, 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 not yet. You put him on your lap. Weeks you old. You can put him on your lap and take him sledging. No, yeah. I've that forgotten be, so much. I think there's strict guidelines. Yeah, that might be. Uh, uh, which might be mitigate Charles against Cordy. that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but what a lovely thing. Yes, it is a lovely thing. Yeah. I'm really pleased for you. Oh, thank you. Okay, and your partner's still with you. She hasn't left. Oh yes. No, she's still there now, right now. Because that would be a good sitcom. Man left alone with new child and two powers. <laughs> it's Bill. <laughs> Changing the... I'm just said, feeding the baby some cuttlefish. No! We, had a, we did have a moment, actually, when uh, the, we had a fox problem in the back garden and uh, <laughs> the fox was driving the dog absolutely to, you know, deranged because of the smell. And the, and the dog is very territorial, obviously. So the fox would come in the garden. The dog would bark the place down because the fox... It was about 4 o'clock in the morning, yeah. usually. Bark the place down, wake the baby up. The baby start crying. The baby would wake the parrots up. The parrots <laughs> would start squawking. And then uh, it was just... This, I kind of, what have we... What have we done? <laughs> that does sound like that. That's a really unpleasant symphony. Yeah. <laughs> Foxes, though. Foxes, aren't they? Can you they're, encourage they're... the fox and the dog to be friends, like that Disney film, The Fox and the Hound? I don't think that... I think that that's only happens in Disney. That would be lovely if you could, yeah. though. Yeah. That's, that's a nice film. It is a lovely film. It's underweighted. Uh, the fox... No, not our foxes. Mangy looking things. Yeah, hanging we... around your bins. They're, yeah, but I like seeing a fox, don't you? An yeah, urban fox. Yeah, I, no, I do. I, I tend to associate it with piercing parrot screeches. Yeah, no you see, that, that would spoil <laughs> it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to um, when London collapses. Right. And we all walk around. It's like, the, it's like in that film... Um, T- oh, 28 Days. No, uh, no, 12 Monkeys. 12 Monkeys. Yeah. I'm hoping it isn't because of a horrible virus that's released by a nut. But, you know, you take what you're given. Yeah. But it'd be nice if you walk around and see lions walking around out there. Do you think so? Yeah. What, a giraffe at the lights, Wouldn't waiting for be... it to change the green? No, the light system is long gone and forgotten. We've mm. reverted to a natural way. Oh, I see. But... What, what, just like, well, there's boards, they have it's at roadworks. Like Stop, the go. We haven't got cars. No, no one's worried about traffic anymore. Oh, really? You've got to let go of the traffic system. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you see, you I'm know what's depressing me now? I know that if there were this, you know, kind of return to some sort of, like, strange... A pre-urban existence. Apocalyptic you would set up a small bureaucratic office to still <laughs> try and exist. You cannot let the, the centre cannot collapse. You, you must know, maintain order. There'll be lollipop men policing the penguins, <laughs> and Bailey going, "No, nope, move along now." Yes, the system of colour-coded parrots. You've gone down in my estimation. Oh, I do. I do apologise. Bill Bailey is also on tour. Never mind the Empire Wars. He's on tour. The tour is called the Part Troll Tour. There've been some. I've seen some lovely pictures of you advertising that with your tail out. It was actually a beautiful tail made for me, a bespoke tail. And do you wear it on stage? Which I do. So I don't. I do actually wear it on stage, but not in, in a way that will only be revealed if you come to the show. So sometimes it's there, sometimes not. Oh, yes. Like Eddie Izzard on those breasts he sometimes puts on. Well, it's not really breasts, you know. I know it's not really breasts. It's a different it's a area there. That's a tail. totally different thing. How do you think you start with Eddie? <laughs> eh? How do you think? <laughs> what, a tail? He started was, with a tail. He had a it tail. He started and then, with a tail. <laughs> then he had it docked, because he thought it looked more fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a Manx cat. <laughs> <laughs> and now, look at it now. It's full Hasn't blown. Stopped him. It's Hasn't stopped full him. Blown. Global domination. It's spread all over the body, Doctor. There's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Even the lips have flushed up weather. Uh, Bill Bailey, what a lovely man you are. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, he's on tour all over the country. Some tickets are available, I'm sure. It's called the Part Troll Tour. It starts on the 4th of May, I believe. Mm-hmm. It goes right through till the 11th of July. Oh, yes, it's a monster. When you start a tour like that, are you looking at the end and thinking, come on? No, I'm. I'm we can I'm, do it. Yes, I'm relishing it. I'm relishing the, the challenge. And uh, it will be... It's the biggest tour I've ever done, so uh, I hope to uh, rise to that particular challenge. Who will be looking after the dog, the parrots and the baby <laughs> and the I'm, I'm the hoping fox? I might be able to try purchase one of those enormous American-style uh, Winnebago-type things which have different compartments, like a human compartment, parrots, dogs, the whole bit. I have an idea for you. What's that? Let's get a compartment, like that, get you a kind of like a travelling house. Yes. Put you on it. Let's film it. Oh, Let's film it. Hey, yeah, now you're talking. And then put it on a live feed, Channel 4, late at night. Yeah. And that's it. Bailey on tour that, with the family, the parrots. We might need to throw a couple of surprises your way. 
Right. You know, we might let people at home vote to what pet you have to have with you next. Right, OK. An emergency um, lizard. Yeah, some, something like that, you know. It's four o'clock in the morning. Occasionally an eagle. Lower stuffed. Something like that. And just bung something in there with you, see what happens. I'm, I'm, up, to, I'm up for it. I'm up for anything. We could have a comedy monkey driving. <laughs> it, it could be a big, big hit. <laughs> Reality shows all the way. The big bus of fun. <laughs> the big bus. The, big, the bear in the big bus. Put it on CBBC. <laughs> um, uh, so you're on tour, you got, everything's going great for you, isn't it? Yeah, very good. How, are, how old are you, Bill? How old am I? Um, I'm 39. You're time. one of those people who could be almost any age. You could be, like, 50. I can play, I can play <laughs> you 15. You could also be 22. <laughs> <I> shave. <laughs> you could play a 15. Cherubic. Go on, put your hair in pigtails for me. Let's have a look at that. It's look like a 15-year-old schoolgirl. Test parody. <laughs> Heidi. It's Heidi. <laughs> uh, Bill, uh, I'd love to chat longer. We've got, oh. probably gone on far too long. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, we've got the stereophonics waiting to come on and play oh, live. Oh, no. And then after that, we got the we got the Funk Brothers. Brilliant. We got the Funk Brothers. Oh, great! You don't know who they are, do you? I do know who they are. Who are they? They're very, very old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could pass for fifteen. They're fantastic. Uh, Bill, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Good luck with the Empire Walls. I'm sure it'll go swimmingly. Thank you very much. And more importantly, good luck with the tour. And more importantly than that, good luck with the baby. Hey. Because hey, tours come and go. Yes. The babies last for a couple of years. Till Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Cheers.